Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. I have for the first time behind me a 2022 TRD Pro in the electric lime metallic available as of 5 7 2022. So if you're looking for one, we have one here. So let's go over this vehicle. I'll be right back. I'm back so let's take a look at her beautiful pretty color um, not for me but I mean definitely an expressive uh, color that Toyota does as they always try to do something that is uh, different for the pros so one of the colors is gonna be uh, something that will be um, uh, a special edition color with the first time ever for Toyota and I'm gonna apologize because I am in a lot of wind right now uh, for the first time Toyota is doing different colors for the different pros so there's a different type of green on the forerunner and the the tundra is completely different It's some sort of an orange but I got the uh, headlights on right now so you can see the LED lights on here black bezeled in them uh, with a pro that lights up pretty cool the rigid industry fog lights on here you get the trd pro grill with the uh, heritage toyota across there this does have four cameras including your bird's eye and your terrain management cameras let's walk around to the side uh, we got these goodyear uh, wrangler tires on there nice tire uh, with a sidewall bike kevlar reinforced um, you got your trd pro rim uh, we have our uh, matching mirror caps with turn signal indicators. Let's go over the Minroni sticker on this here. So we have a TRD Pro 4x4 double cab. The extras on here are, are the uh, paint film, uh, the bed the lights, which the LED lights on this one here, bed mat, door sill, mud guards, and predator tube steps. Uh, after destination, the price is $51,586. let us go on the inside here. So we have the soft synthetic soft text leather that they're doing this is the same thing you'll find in the trd off-road premium but you get the trd pro embroidered in there um trd uh gear shifter on here uh same eight inch infotainment the same dual air climate controls and all that's all the same um, they'll get trd mats too they're in the box uh, all weather floor mats um seats are very lacking we have our uh, tie downs for our sliding bed rails back there. They do not do any power, but there's power in the center console there. Those seats could, seats could fold down. There's a hard surface you could do. Uh, let's take a look. This is some of the new things that they have done to this vehicle here um, is they do have this thing uh, stamped into the body now. TRD Pro used to just be a badge, so that's new for this year so let, let me turn on the bed light uh, bed is strut assisted again this is one of the four cameras this comes down real slow nice this is a composite bed for this so this is really good led lights as an accessory add-on that's that they could be preferenced with you could add it on later on too and then led lights there for the backup and then you have your shark fin for your apple carplay android auto xm radio are all part of this and then it has this bed mat on here too so stuff doesn't slide around so and then uh parking sonar is on here class 4 tow it's going to be a little less than the 6400 because it's got the gas charge fox shocks on here i'm going to get down there so you guys can see the shocks on this look at that bed look at those boys look at that look at that um there's more 
approach, break over and departure angle than any of the other uh, Tacomas out there other than the TRD off-road models. Um, let's try to get into the front side. Let me get in here and you can get a look at this. Look at this nice TRD in here. Look how beautiful that is with that uh, coil over spring and the uh, TRD shocks, the uh, Fox shocks, I'm sorry, TRD, they are TRD Pro shocks, the Fox for Fox, all that. We do have uh, skid plates, TRD skid plate in the front here. Um, super nice. Um, take, let's take a look over here. Faux uh, grill here. This is a faux vent. It's non functional, but it has the TRD black graphics on here. Um, see if I could get to the uh, gas skid plate that's on here. Where's that? At? That way. At? Oh, it's on the other side. Not going to be all TRD on there. Put your gas tank skid plates right there. Uh, they got the little uh, vinyl protectors for the uh, doors there so you don't get your uh, wedding band scratching this up. Uh, nice little uh, touch there. And then uh, let's, let's move on. Take a look at this from the back seat. Let's move this away. I had that seat back from me. I want to see if I fit because I don't. Um, I could probably put that up. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that, look at that. I have to sit like this to make it fit. And again, these are, are not air controls, no air vents and no USB. There is inside here, there's a, a USB A, USB C down in there. Can't get in there. Right there, there we go. Uh, and then you got your moonroof sunroof, it opens up and lifts up. Let's move up to the front. Long shadows late in the day, but let me show you that electric lime in the sunlight. Look at that. Look at that thing just shine at you like a banana, like a really bright, bright green type, kind of turning yellow banana. So just um, a, a really cool color. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a very, uh, you like it or you don't, um, but pretty cool. Uh, well, let me turn off those bed lights. So I did not turn those off. Um, but just get you a look at that. It does have Toyota Safety Sense. It's a basic one. It doesn't do uh, uh, lane steering or anything like that. It's on a hydraulic steering system, so it does lane departure alert, adaptive cruise control, smart stop, pedestrian detection, those things, moonroof, sunroof on top, of course. Let's go ahead and move to the inside of this thing here. Um, oh yeah, look at these little wind vortex generators. So Toyota's trying to do anything they can to get a little bit better fuel mileage out of this thing. So that's scrubbing off the bad air. And just taking a look at the top here. Coming to the inside here, uh, we have a kind of a rubberized kind of a surface here as this is uh, built for going off road. So it's going to get dirty. A couple cup holders are here. Um, and you can get up to like eight drinks up here. There's like two in the four in the center console, two in each door. Um, you have JBL premium audio, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, of course. This is our camera view for our bird's eye camera. Uh, we have our bed lights, we have our auto dimming high beam, and our power inverter if we have a 400 watt AC power in the back. Uh, let's go ahead, take a look at the inside. Move the steering wheel left so you can t see the startup sequence here. Um, startup is right here. Let me get the camera into this here. So this is still super basic. It's low on fill as they didn't fill it up. Uh, digital miles per hour on this screen here. Uh, fill to empty, uh, trip information, compass coordinates, radios off, um, your basic uh, lane departure alert and adapter cruise control screen and then it's telling you have low fuel which is like your message center here um, and then uh, your basic of all uh, Toyota safety sense and then back to the uh, original screen I was on on there so let's take a look at the uh, um, infotainment I'm going to show you the uh, uh, pushing the uh, viewfinder so this is your Ford um, cameras here for just regular uh, driving and so this is going to give you the bird's eye view plus off the side and off the front there that will stay on until you do seven miles an hour and then re this is your reverse look here so you have an overhead view 
uh, which is a graphic of the vehicle splicing all the pictures in. And then you have blue lines where you're at, the yellow lines are your predictive lines. And then let me show you doing the, uh, let's put it in four wheel low. So I could do, try putting it in four low. Now we're in four low, okay. So here's your trail monitoring cameras here in four low. So this is uh, backing up. Man, I can really feel that the uh, it's in four low now. Um, and then this gives you roll and pitch. So this is your Ford view. So you're seeing in the front there. So you could go off road in by yourself and not have to have a spotter going over a steep incline where you're coming up over it blind. Uh, so that's features you have. Let's go ahead and take her out of four wheel high. Um, and then turn the four wheel drive off completely. We do have rear diff locker on here. And, uh, and now that's at the rear diff locker. Let me turn that off. And then I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you the crawl controls here. So now I could do my vehicle stability control is off here. Let me switch camera views here to a, uh, um, a wide angle. It's going to give me a shorter, a better, better view of this. And let me uh, start playing around with the uh, multi-terrain selector here. So, so this is a different things here. So, oh man, sorry. Mud and sand, rock, loose rock, moguls, uh, rock and dirt, just rock. So, and then we have, uh, then we have the multi-terrain selector on and off button and uh and then it has this cruise speed and then you have your crawl speeds and now I, okay oh here we go so now i have different speeds so there you go so that's how that works let's go ahead and turn that all off there now you can see these things working and i, I don't think really anybody shows these things look at this so it's backing up and breaking for me it makes a bunch of noise man Probably because I'm not on dirt, but this is how this thing works. So, and uh, let's go ahead and put it back in neutral so I could take it out of four wheel, four wheel high, or four, and put it in four wheel high, and then put it four wheel uh, into two wheel high. So we're back to normal. So there you go. Now I just showed you the four wheel drive. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features on here. We have our push start. This is our two wheel drive for four wheel high. Could be done on the fly to like, like 46 miles an hour or something like that. Four wheel low has to be shifted into uh, neutral. And then, then, and then you have those crawl control modes. We have a dual climate control here. It's on sync right now. We have our different flows and modes here um, on, on this here and fan speeds inside outside air front defrost heated mirrors down here we have blind spot monitors parking sonar ect is a button for um, tow haul so it keeps the rpms up we have our rear window slider that's our rear window slider control so all easy peasy our primary usb to bring in apple carplay and android auto um, there's a thing called a dongle that can make it wireless until Toyota rebuilds this and makes it wireless. Qi wireless charging pad for our cell phone is down there. Um, and, and we got, again, whole cup holders here, cup holders there, two more in a door, so you could have up to eight drinks for the up front there. Um, hard plastic dash, but I think they do that because that's a truck. Uh, you have your uh, auto dimming rear view mirror with garage door memory sets or home link. We just went over our crawl control modes and our rear diff lockers, uh, dome lights. The last thing up here is the SOS button. I just like to call that OnStar for Toyota. It does uh, roadside assistance, emergency services, and uh, stolen vehicle locator for a trial period. Uh, you have your light vanity mirrors on here. These are the nice um, sliding uh, sun visors on here. Let me back that out. So you have sliding sun visors on here. We got the full on, uh, uh, this does a, both the moonroof and sunroof. 
so you could open this up it could also let me show you the the lip up on this here okay let me turn this camera around try to get to that and we have there we go lip up that's so we have both and then it has the manual shade if you don't want any sun in there at all mike hamilton again i just went over the crawl controls the rear differential locker uh the terrain management controls the um bird's eye camera the trail monitoring cameras so any questions hit me up in the in the uh on there also my phone number sneaks up there in the beginning of these videos if you ever want to give me a call this is available this is one of two that i have again this is msrp plus 49.95 which is pretty fair for today's market this is one of two this one is not sold as of this video 57 of 2022 and we have an identical one also coming in just like that well thank you for watching we'll see you next time